Seven GovGuam officials indicted in local courts. The Attorney General's Government Corruption Division alleged government funds were improperly used to pay Guam Regional Transit Authority Interim Executive Manager Richard Abanitz for a position he was not qualified to hold. Prosecutors allege officials knew that Ibanez illegally held the top management position without the requisite college degree. In January of 2022, the board voted to approve Ibanez to the position in an acting capacity following the recommendation of Governor Lulian Guerrero. The governor's office confirming with KUAM Ibanez hasn't been serving in the position since before the storm. Ibanez was indicted along with GRTA certifying officer Jennifer Cruz, GRTA Board of Directors Chairman Alejo Sablon, GRTA Board of Director and Hoggett Mayor Kevin Sosuiko, and GRTA Board Vice Chairman and Inalahan Mayor Anthony Chargaloff. The indictment includes charges of theft by deception, conspiracy for misapplication of entrusted funds, misapplication of entrusted funds, and official misconduct with a special allegations of crimes against the community. Cruz was also indicted with tampering with public records. KUM's Tomas Mangotnia board, caught up with uh, both mayors on the GRTA board in Saipan. No comment. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, there's. I don't think there, there was any basis, but um, we'll see. Well, we'll let my attorney uh, handle that. And who's your attorney? Um, well, I have to consult with him first. It is a holiday. Let me just provide my comment. So basically, uh, charges being alleged is that. Uh, I guess there's a there's a Richard Ibanez was placed as an interim uh, general executive manager, and I'm not quite sure how is that inclusive of us as the board when the appointing authority uh, was of course the governor, and then of course now we're being charged uh, because we he apparently did not have his credentials. Uh, of course, um, that was all done uh, within the governor's office, and uh, I believe that they should be the one to be a question as to that. I mean, we are pretty much an advisory board, and uh, I'm not sure what else to say regarding this. And I, I quite honestly haven't really read it in its entirety, so I, I'm really uh, limited with my comments. The governor's office declined comment, referring to the indictments as ongoing litigation. A grand jury separately handed down an indictment Monday evening against Arthur St. Augustine, the Director of Public Health and Social Services, and Public Health's Chief Environmental Health Officer Tom Nadeau. St. Augustine and Nadeau are each charged with obstructing governmental functions and official misconduct, along with special allegations of crimes against the community. The Public Health Director also charged with five counts of tampering with public records. Prosecutors allege sanitary permits for multiple Guam Department of Education schools were approved by responsible government officials without any actual inspections. The schools named in court documents include Simon Sanchez, George Washington, and Southern High Schools. A summons was issued by the court for all defendants to appear before Superior Court Judge John Chalahi on July 26. Nick Delgado, KUAM News.